one one is inclined to think uh, immediately about Plato in the Republic and his examination of the idea of, of justice. I'd add this that um, Plato was developing ideas, his ideas about justice, uh, in in the context of a, a Greek way of life, because he's been hearing um, about ideas from outside of Greece, strictly speaking. So you have the Ionian school of, of philosophizing, which goes back to Thales and Heraclitus. Um, that school of thinking was located largely on what we would now regard as the western coast of, of Turkey. Um, uh, other schools of thinking uh, around the Mediterranean are permeating the Greek air. And, and so, yes, the there's a confluence of the, these ideas, a coalescence of these ideas in, in, the, in the activities of Plato and Aristotle, his student, um, but they're not just the private possessions of, of anyone and not even the private possessions of the Greeks. But getting to the question of what justice is, um, the, que the question is raised by Plato within this larger context, and he's trying to understand fundamentally uh, how to live a life, and in particular, a good life as a human being. And he begins to raise the question of justice. Uh, it, well, he let, let's look at what he says in, in book one of the Republic. He's he's brought to the home of this older, experienced um, gentleman, uh, uh, Cephalus. Uh, yep. So he, here's the man who stands for the man of experience. He's seen it all. He's been through it all. He's been a good guy. He's paid his debts. Um, he's been a just man. And what, what Plato was telling us life comes first. You, you first live and then you reflect on your living. You don't just start your speculation out of, out of the midst of nothingness. So, so life is what begins. Um, it becomes the, life gives us the occasion to think philosophically. So what does Cephalus tell us about justice? Now it turns out his life is not an especially well-examined life. He doesn't have the right kind of answers. And so Plato begins to uh, have uh, Socrates and others uh, question what justice really is. It's not enough to have lived it. You need to be able to give an account of it. Why? So that you can talk to others about it. So again, ideas aren't private. They're, they're in, in, intrinsically shared or social or intersubjective. And as we get clearer on what justice is, it, it does seem to involve some kind of um, equality of treatment, that treating equals as equals, treating unequals as unequals. After all, it would be unjust for everybody to get the same share, even if some of them are more or less deserving. So, so equality seems to be built into the idea of justice. And equality seems to make sense only within the context of some kind of system or ordering with respect to which things are said to be equal. So, so notice, as soon as we've entered into this discussion of justice, which was occasioned for us because we had the, the life of Cephalus, this individual who's experienced it, but not really thought about it so much. We move into other ideas, equal treatment, orderliness. And then before long, Plato gets us realizing, using Socrates as his mouthpiece, that you can't even begin to understand justice as lived by an individual if you don't understand justice in the larger whole, the polis, this, what we'd call the state. And so before long, a discussion about justice, because we're talking about whether Cephalus is right to think about justice the way that he thinks it, an account of justice gets us talking about the larger whole, the city-state, and how the city-state has to be organized or ordered. And before long, you're not able, you realize, if you're really thinking these through, these things through, according to Plato, you can't even begin to think about justice within the state unless you understand the order of the entire cosmos. So... Um, equal treatment, orderliness, what is the system within which people are treated equally? We're, we're now doing cosmology, even though we thought we were only doing epistemology or ethics or even political <laughs> science. So. <laughs>